Hello, everyone. Today we have a special friend with us. Here she is. Say hello to Bluey. Hey. We're going to have so much fun together. We'll be learning all about colors. What are we waiting for? Let's start with this ball of Play-Doh. This is the color blue. It's like Bluey's name. Let's make it nice and flat. We can use a rolling pin for this. We'll roll it back and forward. It's just like making a cake or a pizza. It's almost ready. Whew, that was hard work. We'll use this part first. I need to push it into the Play-Doh. Then it's time for Bluey. She goes inside the bigger piece. Then I'll give her a little press. I think that's enough. Let's see if it worked. Ready, friends? Wow! Look at that! Let's use dark blue next. Do you know what this color is? That's right! It's yellow! We'll use white Play-Doh for Bluey's eyes. And this color is black. Whoa! We've got a toy! That was so much fun! It's Bluey, everyone! She looks so happy! Let's put her over here. Bluey needs some friends. Yes! So let's make her some. What color is this? You got it. It's orange. We'll need to use the rolling pin. Let's flatten it out. Can you think of anything that's orange? Hmm. Yes, the fruit. Well done. Let's use the cutter. I'll push it into the Play-Doh. Then we can take the second shape. I'll push it all the way in. Then I'll carefully remove it. I don't want to ruin the Play-Doh. Wow, it looks great. We need to peel off the extra Play-Doh. Let's add more color. This is brown. The next color is beige. That's a funny word to say. Now, we'll add white Play-Doh. We'll need black for the eyes and ears. We did it! And we've got another toy. Say hello to Bingo, everyone. Bingo is Bluey's sister. We'll go for this cutter next. Shout out the name of this color. It's the same color as the big ball of Play-Doh. It's red. Well done. It's time to roll it out. I need to make a large oval shape. This is tough, but we did it. Yay! We'll use the cutter now. It needs to push into the red Play-Doh. Let's think of red things. An apple, yes. Oh, a fire truck. That's good. We can remove the cutters now. Can you remember what this color is? It's yellow. Great job, friends. Next, we need white Play-Doh. We need to color the eyes and nose. So, we'll use black for this. We made another of Bluey's friend. And we have a new toy. Say hello to Rusty. Look at his red fur. We've got three new friends. We should make some more. We'll use this cutter next. This is gray Play-Doh. We'll use the rolling pin to make it flat. Just like this. It won't take long. That's perfect. Thanks, friends. I couldn't do it without your help. Let's push the cookie cutter into it. This is exciting. I wonder who it will be. Shall we find out? Let's take the cookie cutters out. We'll get rid of the rest of the Play-Doh. This is a new color. It's called dark gray. Now we can use the beige for the ears. Let's add white Play-Doh next. 
Now we'll use black for the eyes. Wow! Did you see that? It's a cute little friend! It's Muffin! Let's sit Muffin next to Bluey. We've got two more cutters left. We'll use this one next. I think I know who this is. This is called light pink. It's a pretty color. Let's use the rolling pin. It's gotta be really thin. Just a little more. Okay, I think it's ready. Now we can use the cutter. I'll give it a good press. We can use the second cutter now. It's pink, just like the Play-Doh. I think we can take a look. Wow, it looks great. But we still need to add more Play-Doh. This is bright pink. What is this color called? You've got it, white. The last color is black. It turned into a toy. Look at all the pink fur. Let's put her with the rest of our friends. This is Coco. She can go over here. This is the last cutter. It's a funny shape, isn't it? This color is called black. We'll use the roller now. It's so sticky. It has to be long so the cutter can fit. We'll start with the biggest cutter. Then we can use the dog cutter. It goes right here. One big push. There. Let's see how it looks. Wow. Can you see the dog? We'll need to brighten it up. First, we'll use orange. Can you remember this color's name? It's beige. What's this color? That's it, green. Then we'll use white. There's one more color, it's black. Here's the last toy. Can you see its yellow hat? This is Snickers. He's a very tall dog. We found all our friends. There's so many of them. We met Bluey. Then there was Muffin. The pink dog is Coco. Bingo has orange fur. Say hello to Snickers. And Rusty is a red dog. Thanks for all your help, friends. I'll see you next time for more fun. Bye, everyone. Hello, friends. Look at our colorful Play-Doh. Are you ready? What colors do we have? Hmm. Pink, white, purple, green, orange, black, yellow. Hmm, what should we make? Ah, let's hunt for some cutters. Let's see what's inside here. Oh, what is it? It's a fox. Yay! What color is the fox cutter? Can you help me? Is it pink? White? Purple? Green? Orange? Yay! Yes, we need orange. Thanks, guys. We want our rolling pin now. Let's roll. Roll. Roll the dough, haha. -ha. It's ready to push in the cutter. Press it down and lift it up. Now his feet, his bushy tail, two ears. Hmm, what's next? Yes, his nose and whiskers. Don't forget his two eyes. Foxes are only a little bit bigger than cats. But they are a member of the dog family. Okay, let's search through this bowl and find our next animal shape. 
What's this animal? Yes, it's a giraffe. Yay! Which color do we need? Pink? White? Purple? Green? Orange? Black? Yellow? Yay! Well done! That's right. We need yellow dough for giraffe. We need to roll a long piece for the giraffe. Just right. Let's push down the cutter. Now, we have our shape. We'll peel off the dough. Time to decorate. First, the eye. A brown tail. And lots of spots. Giraffes are the tallest mammals in the world. Even a newborn baby giraffe is taller than most humans. Let's see what animals inside the pink balls. Here it is. It's a butterfly. What color is this cutter? Do you think it's black? No. Green? Purple? Yes, you got it! Hey! Hurrah! Get ready to roll. Push out, roll back. Up and down we go. Press it down and give it a wiggle. Peel the dough for our butterfly shape. We'll give it a blue body. And we'll decorate all the wings so that they look the same, just like real butterflies. Some blue feelers on top of its head. And then two eyes. Let's flutter and watch the video. Butterflies have six legs and they use them to walk and climb just like us. Here come the green balls. Get ready to hunt. Can you see it? What is it? That's right, it's a frog. Tell me, which color do we need? Pink? Black? Green? You got it right! Come on, let's start rolling. How do we roll? Push out, roll back, up and down we go. Yeah! Wow, this is a big frog cutter, isn't it? We can see the frog shape now, can't we? frog has two big eyes. A red mouth. Let's meet frog's friends. Frogs live in or around water and even a puddle can be their home. Did you know? Frogs close their eyes when they eat. Wow, now we've got a mix of brown and white balls to look through. Look! It's a zebra! Hmm, which color this time? Black? Pink? White? Yes, we'll use white for the zebra's body. Is it big enough? Yes, perfect! Wow, look at our shape! It looks like a horse, doesn't it? That's because zebras are a type of wild horse. Let's put lots of black stripes onto it. Zebras live in families just like we do. They use their black stripes to hide from big hungry animals like lions. 
What animal cutter will be hiding in the white balls? Found it! It's got a long nose! It's a big gray elephant! Oh no! What will we do? We don't have any gray dough? But if we take black and white and do a magic mix. We've got gray, yeah! Now we can make our elephant. Lots of rolling for this big elephant shape. Press down the cutter and pull it off. Its long nose is called a trunk. And they use it like we use our fingers. We need a big ear for our elephant. Let's watch some real elephants. Elephants love water. They drink, swim, and play in rivers. Don't forget to put on your trunks. Haha. <laughs> Here's our last bowl to look through. What do you think our last animal will be? Aha, it's a bear. Did you guess right? Which color this time? Pink? Yes, our bear's gonna be pretty in pink. Rolling time! Bears are big, strong, and fast animals. They are good at climbing, swimming, and running. Let's peel off the dough and decorate our bear. We need two eyes, a black nose, and our bear's gonna have a love heart. Aww. Ha ha! What do you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear, ha ha! Polar bears are the largest bears that live in the cold Arctic. Look, our bowl's empty. We finished all our animals for the zoo park. Hey. Let's take a look around the animal park. Here's our orange fox and his friend has come along too. Yellow giraffe has joined his family. They can see very far with their long necks. Look. Frog is hiding behind the bushes. Many frogs can change their skin color to hide from bigger animals. Here's Butterfly. He's going to fly to the flowers with his friends. Butterflies eat the nectar inside flowers. Yum! Our zebra now has a new family to live with. Elephant's going to eat some plants with his new friends. Pink bear has joined the polar bear, brown bear, and panda. Hope you had fun playing with our new friends today. Bye! Hello, friends! Are you ready to play and learn with Peppa and friends? George has come along to play. And here's playful Peppa! Hurrah! Mommy Pig has arrived too! Who's next? Yes, Daddy Pig! Here's a big dough cutter. And another one. This one's smaller, isn't it? And here's our last one. Can you help me match the right cutters? Yay! No, not this one. Here? This cutter's too big, isn't it? Nope. Let's try the last one. Yes, it fits! Good job! Yay! Where does Peppa go? Hmm. No, Peppa's too small for this cutter. Not this one either. There's only one more left to try. You did it! Now yeah. Peppa's in place. Hmm, where does Mummy Pig fit? Hmm? No match here. This is it! Yeah! Yay. Okay, Daddy Pig, your turn. We know where you need to go, don't we, friends? Can you help me pick the color dough that matched the cutters? George is blue. We need to roll the blue dough into a circle. 
then press it flat and lay it on the table. Now we can roll, roll, roll the dough. <laughs> it's ready to press the cutter in. Press it down hard. Pull off the square dough. Here we go. Now we can press down George into the cutter. Oh, I can't wait to see it. How about you? Yay! Are you ready? Wow! Hello, George. Are you ready to play? Let's make your family first, though. What color dough do we need for Peppa? Pink! Hurrah! I knew you'd be good at this game. What do we need to roll out the dough? Yes, a rolling pin to roll out for Peppa's shape. The cutter first to make the shape. Then a press and a jiggle. Peppa, are you ready to be Play-Doh Peppa? <laughs> Here she comes! Peppa looks pretty in pink, doesn't she? Wow! Which color is next? Orange, that's right! Orange is a color, and what else is it? Do you know? A fruit, yes! Yummy scrummy! We need to roll it bigger this time, don't we? Okay, mummy pig, let's press the cutter in to get your shape. We have to press this one real hard. She's done. Let's put away the extra dough. And it's time for Mummy Pig to jump on in. Push, press, push. Come on, Mummy Pig. Join Peppa and George. Mummy Pig looks happy in Play-Doh, doesn't she? Yay! Which of Peppa's family is missing? Who will we make next? Daddy Pig, that's right! What color is he? Turquoise, or we can say bluish green too. Phew, we're gonna need a lot of rolling for Daddy Pig, aren't we? Roll up, down, round, and around. <laughs> Let's check if we rolled it big enough. Hurrah, he fits! Daddy Pig is missing his family, so let's get him made. Push, press, push. Daddy's in a rush. <laughs> let's take off the cutters and check him out. Wow, now he can join his family. Thanks, friends. Daddy Pig is happy now. Thanks for matching them right. Bye, friends. Friends, he wants to make shapes with Play-Doh. Me! Let's use these shape cutters. Wow, they're sea animals! What's this animal? It's a crab! Yeah! Which color dough do we need? Red! Roll out the dough with the rolling pin! Roll it out large and flat. Then press in the crab cutter. Push it down and pull it out. Now we can peel away the dough. Wow, look! We've got a crab! Not yet, JJ. We've got to decorate it first. Finally, crab's eyes! And a mouth, too! Did you know that crabs can walk in all directions, but mainly walk and run sideways? Wow, that's amazing! He wants to pick the next sea animal? Me! I choose this one! What animal is it? Yeah, a shark! Yeah! Let's use the pink dough! 
Use the rolling pin to roll, roll, roll it out! Oh, nice and round! Now we're ready to press in the cutter! Yeah, press it really hard! Peel away the dough! Look, we've got a shark! What's that piece? It's Shark's belly! Oh, Shark's got sharp teeth! Did you know that sharks have awesome eyesight? At night, they can see even better than a cat! That's amazing! I, I! <laughs> My turn! I want to make a big sea animal with lots of legs! Octopus! Which color, JJ? Okay, I choose blue dough. We need to roll a lot for this big octopus. It's ready. Let's press in the shape. Now we'll carefully peel the dough away. Hurrah! Here comes the eyes! Now Octopus can see us, too! <laughs> Let's decorate with lots of blue and pink dots! Yippee! It looks so cute and cool! Now it's a happy octopus! Did you know that octopus build their homes using rocks? They even make a door to close when they're at home! Isn't that amazing? They're octopus builders! <laughs> Do you know which sea animal is my favorite? No, tell us! Turtle! And I'm going to use the color... Green! Roll the dough up and down until it's big and flat. Let's put it in the cutter and press it down. I can see my turtle now. Put on its brown shell. And add some green dots. Next comes the eye. And a big smile too. Did you know that some sea turtles can hold their breath underwater for up to five hours? Wow, they are so amazing! Let's try the big yellow star shape next. What do you think it is? That's right! A starfish! Which color dough? Yellow! Roll the dough wide and long! To make it thin and flat! Now we can press in the shape! We're ready to peel it out! Then decorate with blue and pink dots! After the eyes, a smiley mouth! Yay! It's done! Did you know that starfish can swim? Instead, they walk or crawl over seaweed and rocks. I'm learning to swim. How about you? I can't swim yet, but I'm going to learn soon. Can I pick the next cutter? Of course. I pick this one. Yeah, another shark! Which color dough, JJ? Blue! Rolling pin ready! And roll, roll, roll we go! Spread the dough out wide! 
We need it longer. Keep rolling. It's ready! Hurrah! Press and push down hard. Then pull it off. Yippee! Here comes the belly. Next, two big eyes. Get ready for shark's mouth and sharp teeth. Wow, shark-tastic! Did you know sharks are one of the oldest animals on Earth? They were alive when dinosaurs were. That's why they needed big, sharp teeth. <laughs> <laughs> what sea animal is the purple cutter? Do you know? Yes, it's a seahorse. Which color is dull this time? Purple. Let's roll the dough big enough for our cutter. Whew, it's getting long. It's ready for our seahorse shape. Pull out the cutter and peel off the dough. Seahorse can have a pink belly. This is so much fun! Don't forget seahorse's eye! Oops! Here it is! Did you know many seahorses can change color so that they can hide from bigger fish? So don't play hide and seek with a seahorse! <laughs> <laughs> now my turn to make my favorite sea animal! Fish! And I choose orange dough! It's a big fish, so we need to roll the dough big and flat! Do you think it's big enough? It is if we turn it around. Let's check. Perfect. Now let's press it down and give it a wiggle. Pull the dough away. Yeah, decorating time. Which fish am I making? Yeah, Nemo. Nemo is a clownfish, and did you know that they can talk? They make popping and clicking noises to other clownfish. Do you think they talk as much as JJ? <laughs> Come on, everyone. Get ready for an adventure under the sea with our friends. Wow, awesome! Under the sea playtime for you and me. Hooray! Hooray! Hello, everyone. Today we're playing with our Paw Patrol friends. Each tub has colorful Play-Doh in it. Where should we start? This one? Good choice. And the Play-Doh is dark blue. Let's roll it out. It's nice and flat. We have this special cutter. Let's press it into the Play-Doh. This is so exciting. We need to peel off the extra Play-Doh. Then remove the cutter. Let's see what it looks like. Wow, look at this, friends. We may chase. Do you know what his job is? Yes! Yes, he's a police dog. Let's open this pot next. What color do you think it is? That's right, it's pink. Now we'll roll it out like a pizza. Mmm, I like pizza. We'll press our pink cutter into the Play-Doh. Just like this. And carefully lift the cutter. It's Sky! Woof! Woof! Let's put her next to Chase. We've got a lot more to open. Do you know what color this is? It's yellow! Well done! It's so soft and squishy. We need to make it nice and flat. 
This is our next cutter. Who do you think it is? Let's find out. I need to peel it off the table. You were right, it's rubble! Rubble goes next to the yellow pot. I think I know what color this is. Shout out nice and loud if you know. It's red! Well done, friends. Can you think of something that's red? You got it! Strawberries are red. Let's push the cutter into the Play-Doh. I know who this is. Shall we take a look? I knew it. It's Marshall. He drives a red fire truck. You're doing great, friends. The next color is purple. Let's squash it. <laughs> it feels funny. We have a purple cutter. I wonder who this will be. Let's see. It's Everest. Yeah! Everest is a husky. She climbs up high mountains. But today, she's having fun with her friends. Let's open another pot. This looks interesting. This color is called turquoise. Can you say turquoise? Well done. Hmm? We need a cutter. That's better. We'll press it into our Play-Doh. Let's find out who this will be. Shout out if you know. Yay, it's Rocky. Can you see his turquoise clothes? Yes. We'll put Rocky over here. This is the next pot. What color is inside? It's orange. Yeah! That felt good. We need to make one of the Paw Patrol crew. Do you know who this is? Mm -hmm. Shout out if you do. That's a good guess. Let's find out if you're right. You got it! It's Zuma. Zuma helps sea animals. He must be a good swimmer. This is the last pot. It's blue. Let's use the roller. The blue cutter goes on the blue play dough. We need to press it down. We can use the extra play dough later. Now we'll carefully remove the cutter. Look at this. It's Ryder. He's the leader of the Paw Patrol. We've got them all, yay! Look at all the colors. It's like a Paw Patrol rainbow. Hi friends, come and join me in making ice cream Play-Doh today. Can you help me to choose the right colors? Our ice cream store is ready. Who is our first customer? Hmm. It's Tom Tom. Let's say hello. Hello, Tom Tom. What flavor ice cream would you like? I'd like a strawberry ice cream, please. Okay, can you wait over there? What color is strawberry? Red. Yes, strawberries are red. Let's use this mold. In goes the red dough. Press it into the shape. Then close and squeeze it together. Put in a stick and press the mold. Wow, a super strawberry ice cream. Tom Tom, come over. Your ice cream's ready. Yeah, but something's missing. Would you like some candy topping? Oh yes, some sparkly stars would be great. Can you see the star-shaped candy? This one? Are these star-shaped? Okay, what about these? Yes, let's sprinkle them onto the ice cream. Great! Let's see if Tom Tom likes it. Hurrah! Strawberry and sparkles! 
It tastes so scrummy and yummy! Hi, can I have an ice cream too? Hi, Bella. What flavor would you like? Hmm, I like grapes. Can I have grape flavor, please? You stand and wait, Bella, whilst we make it for you. What color do we need? Purple. Purple grapes are my favorite. Here's our mold. Let's put in the dough. Press it shut. Press it hard. Let's pull off this part. Now for the stick. Push it in as far as it will go. Wow! Grape-tastic! Hey, Bella, come and see your ice cream. I'm coming. Wow, it's so purple and juicy. Could I have some snowflake candy topping too, please? Okay. Help me find the snowflakes. Are these snowflakes? No. What about these? No, they're not snowflakes. Yes, here are the sparkling snowflakes. This'll be done in snow time. Ha ha. Frosty frosting. Ha ha. Wow, it looks like a purple igloo. Delicious. Thanks, guys. You're the best. Hi, Cody. Hi, everyone. So, Cody, which flavor ice cream would you like? Oh, do you have pineapple flavor? Yes, I do. Stand over there and wait. Which color for pineapple? Yellow! Thanks, kids. Let's grab our mold and put in the yellow dough. Now close and squeeze. Let's take off the squishy sides. What do we need next? That's right, push in the stick. Oops, wrong end. And let's open it up. Cody? Wow, so cool! But I'd really like some sprinkles on it. Which ones? Hmm, I want some red love hearts, please. Okay, I'll find some. Hoorah! Let's find the love heart candy. Are these love hearts? These are red. Are they heart shaped? Yes, let's layer it with love. Wow, it's looking good. Do you think Cody will like it? Hurrah! This ice cream looks the best. Let me try it. Tastes like pineapple love. Ha-ha! <laughs> Hello, everyone! Hello, Nina. What would you like? I'd like an apple flavor ice cream, please. Wait over there. Which color apple? Green. Let's use this mold with a pattern on it. Push and spread the dough around. Close it and press down hard. Now we'll peel off the extra dough. And it's ready for the stick. Wow, look, Nina! Yippee! My ice cream's shaped like a beautiful butterfly. Would you like it decorated? Yes, please. Can I have candy circles on it? Coming right up! Can you find the circle candies? Thanks, friends. Let's sprinkle them on. Nina, it's ready. I'd better take a lick before it flies away. Ha ha. Awesome, guys. This is the best butterfly ice cream ever. Hi, everyone. Hello, Nico. Which ice cream would you like? Can I have two flavors? Pineapple and grape, please? Okay, you wait whilst I mix them up. We need purple and yellow together for this ice cream. 
yellow dough on top and purple below. Then we'll close it up and squish squash together. Wow, Nico, come and see! It's awesome! Can I have topping too? Which topping? Oh, I think flowers would look so cool! What do you think? Where are the flowers? What about these? You think these? Yes, you found them! Let's sprinkle them on. It's a flower forest! It's ready, Nico! Wow, I can't wait to try it! It tastes as yummy as it looks! Thanks, guys! Look, kids, JJ is here! Hello, JJ, do you want an ice cream? Oh, yes! I'd like a blueberry ice cream, please! I'll get that for you, you wait over there! Which color do we need? Blue! Let's put blue into the mold and press it down! Squeeze it together. Do you think it's ready? Not yet! What do we need to push in next? Yes, we need a stick! Let's open it up. Wow! JJ, come and check it out! Wow! I can smell the blueberry flavor! Mmm! What about a candy topping? Yes! Do you have seashell candies? Let me go and check. Take a look, guys! Can you see seashells? What shape are these? Seashells, yes! Let's shake on the shells. Wow! Hurrah! It looks like the ocean! And it tastes delicious. <laughs> Hello, Yo-Yo! Have you come for an ice cream, too? Yes! Bubblegum flavor is my favorite! Can I have one of those? Yes, we'll make one for you. Wait over there. What color? Pink. Let's make Yo-Yo an ice cream with this mold. Press in the dough nice and tight. Squeeze it together and pull off the extra dough. Ready, let's open it up. What animal is it? shaped ice cream. Hurrah! Which candy topping do you want? Hmm. I'd like two toppings, red love hearts, and sparkly stars. Uh, is that okay? Of course. Okay, friends. Can you help me find the two toppings, please? Love hearts first. Sprinkle, sprinkle. And here are the shining stars. Let's check out Yo-Yo's rabbit. It's ready, Yo-Yo. Run, rabbit, run! Straight to me! Uh, thanks, guys. It's so yummy! We've sold all our ice cream today. Thanks for helping. Bye, friends! Hi, friends! Will you join us in an undersea adventure? We're gonna make and meet different sea animals! Soma's been out on his boat finding out things to share with us. But first, we've got to make our play doh pals. Are you ready to help? Let's choose a cutter fast and then find out which sea animal we'll make. Shark is our first sea animal. Which color will we use? Pink! That's right! Let's roll out the dough and make it big and flat. Now we can push in the cutter and wiggle it a little. Then pull away the extra dough. Here comes its white tummy. 
two eyes, and a big toothy smile. Yeah! Sharks can be found in every ocean around the world. Their teeth are like triangles and super sharp, and if they lose one, another tooth grows back. Wow, that's shark -tastic. Hey, Rubble, you choose the next one. Okay, I want to know which sea animal is the green cutter. Do you know? It's a sea turtle, Rubble. We need green dough for the turtle, don't we? Here we roll. Press on the cutter to print out the shape. We need a big shell for on top of Turtle's back and a big eye. Turtles have a large, hard shell to protect them from big fish attacking them. The shell is smooth and is shaped to help them swim quickly away from danger. That's shell-tastic! <laughs> Your turn to choose the next one, Marshall! Hurrah! I want to know what the star-shaped cutter makes! It's a starfish. What color dough do we need? Yellow, that's right. We can roll with our yellow rolling pin, can't we? Let's check if it fits. Hurrah, now we can press it down. Shiny like a star. <laughs> we'll decorate the five arms, then two eyes and a happy smile. Now we can add on the spots. We've got a spotty starfish! <laughs> starfish move really slow, so they have to eat other sea animals that move slowly too, like oysters, mussels, and snails. Starfish are great at giving high fives as well! <laughs> Chase is on the case, and I think we should make the big orange cutter next! It's a fish! Swim over here, fish! Which color, Chase? Orange! We'll roll it out long and wide, because this is quite a big fish, isn't it? Press all around the cutter nice and hard. We should decorate it like Nemo, shouldn't we? A shiny big eye and some Nemo stripes, hurrah! Nemo is a clownfish, and clownfish talk to each other by making clicking and popping noises. They're called clownfish because they are bright like clowns in the circus. But they don't ride bicycles like circus clowns. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think the big red sea creature cutter is? It's a crab sky. Hmm, which color? Red, hurrah! But did you know that most crabs in the ocean are brown, green, or blue? Hmm. Let's try it for size. This one's a big crab, isn't it? Pull away the extra dough so that we can decorate it. Black strips for the claws and pincers. Two big eyes and a big mouth. Crabs walk sideways, as is the fastest way for them to move. If they lose a claw on rocks, then it will grow back. Crabs use their claws to pick up food, like we use our hands. Craptastic, hooray! Our ocean is filling up, isn't it? I like to see what sea creature the blue one is. Do you know? It's an octopus with eight long legs. Blue is the color dough we need. And we need to roll it out really long and wide so that those long legs fit, don't we? I hope we rolled it big enough. Shall we see? Yeah! Yes, hurrah! Octopus use their long legs to touch things and taste too. We'll decorate those eight legs first with pink. We need a lot of dough for this, don't we? Then two eyes, eyebrows, and a sweet smile. Don't forget the spots too! Thanks, Rubble! Octopus eyes are on the front of their head, and they can see almost every direction without even moving their head. Those eyes are useful in deep dark water, so that they can hunt for their dinner of fish, shrimp, and crabs. Aye aye! Watch out for those legs, friends! <laughs> it's okay, our Play-Doh pals all play together. Can we do the big blue one next? What sea creature is it? It's a swordfish, Chase. 
We need dark blue for this fish, don't we? We'd better be quick before it swims away, because swordfish are one of the fastest fish in the ocean. Let's turn the dough around and push in the cutter. Get ready to press it down hard. Here we go! Now we can decorate it with a white tummy below, on both sides of its fin. Two eyes and a long bill, which they use to hit their prey with. And a mouth to eat the food they bash. Swordfish grow very quickly, and mainly swim and live alone, not in groups. Young swordfish have scales, but when they are grown up, they lose their teeth and scales. I'm gonna keep looking after my teeth so that I can always eat crunchy bones. Look guys, we've only one sea creature left to make, but I don't know what it is. It's a seahorse. Do you know what color it is? Purple, that's right, well done. Let's roll out the last one. This time we need it to be long, don't we? We need the seahorse standing upright because that's how they move along in the water. Let's peel it out and add its fins. Seahorses have bright colors, but can change their color to hide from danger. On go the eyes and it's done. Seahorses have long curled tails that they use to hold onto plants to hide. They have awesome eyesight and can look forwards and backwards at the same time. So they can look for food and keep watch for danger too. They're always on patrol, just like us. <laughs> Let's dive down for our underwater adventure with friends! Now we know lots about the ocean and the sea creatures that live there, don't we? That's right, Sky. That's why we need to keep the ocean clean and take care of our friends, so that they stay safe. We can all patrol and protect it together, can't we, friends? We will, won't we, guys? Hello, everyone! Yeah! Do you want to play with us today and make fruits with Play-Doh? We'll even learn about colors. Okay. It's going to be so much fun. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Let's play. Hmm, where should we start? Over here? Good idea. Do you know what this is? Right, it's a strawberry. Hmm, I like strawberries. They're so juicy. I know what to do. We can make our own strawberry. Huh? But we'll need Play-Doh. Hmm, let's use these colors. Hmm? This will make the perfect strawberry. Do you know what this color is called? Yes, it's red. Well done. It's so soft and squishy. I'll need to flatten it out. Now I can use the strawberry shape. I'll start with this one. Yay! I'll press it into the red Play-Doh. This is so exciting. Next, I'll push this piece into the Play-Doh. This will help make our strawberry. Let's peel off the extra Play-Doh and remove the strawberry shape. Wow, it looks great! But we can make it even better. Shout out if you know what color this is. You got it! It's green! It's a round green ball. But that won't do. Ah, that's more like it. A green stem for our red strawberry. It can go right here. It looks amazing. Something's missing. It's the yellow seeds. We finished our red strawberry, friends. Do you like strawberries? Yes! I do too! I like strawberries too! Okay, now it's my turn. Let's make a... Oh, I have an idea! I'm going to use this yellow shape. Do you know what it's called? Shout out! That's it! It's a pineapple! That's a funny word to say. Pineapple! Now we need Play-Doh. This one looks good. Let's open it up. This is yellow. Can you say yellow? Yes! Wow, you did it! 
Now I'll roll it nice and flat. It's like a pancake. I'll use this cutter first. Let's push it into the Play-Doh. This will make a pineapple shape. Next, we need the second piece. Here it is. Let's press it into the Play-Doh. The pineapple will be so bright and colorful. I can't wait. But we'll need to take off the cutter. I'll be really gentle. Wow, look at all the lines. We did a great job making this. I'm so happy. I have an idea. Let's remove the yellow leaves. Pineapple leaves are green. We'll need to change them. Everyone shout green really loud. It worked. The leaves changed color. We can put them on our pineapple. This is our second fruit. Can you remember what this is called? A pineapple. Yes. Well done. There's lots of fruit to make. I wonder what's next. I'd like to use that green cutter right behind me. Look! Do you know the name of this fruit? This is a watermelon. Hmm, what colors will we use for this? Can you help me? Should we use this red Play-Doh? Yes, thanks for your help. Let's open the tub. Shout out the color. It's red. Where's my rolling pin? I like this part. Next, we'll take the watermelon cutter. This shape is a triangle. It has three sides. Look, there's a smaller triangle. It can go inside the bigger one. I'll push them into the Play-Doh. We don't need this. Shall we take a look? It's not finished. We need more Play-Doh. The outside of the watermelon is green. Let's stretch the Play-Doh. Wow, it looks so cool. What are we gonna do with this green ball? Let's use a rolling pin to flatten it. Great, now the other side. I'll use the cutter again. I'll make a strip of green Play-Doh. Let's remove the cutter. Wow, this is just what I wanted. It goes right here. Watermelons have black seeds. Like this! It looks so good! Can you say the name of this fruit? Yes! Watermelon, you did it! Yay! What shall we make next? Hmm. Ooh, it's an apple! It's super crunchy! Let's pick a color for our apple. There's so many choices. Ah, this will do. This will be the perfect color for it. What do you think it is? Yeah, it's red. I like squishing it. It's time to make a red apple. We need to roll it out. Then we can use the apple shape. I'll give it a good press. Let's peel away the Play-Doh. I'm so nervous. We need to add a stem and a leaf. What color do you think they are? The leaf is green and the stem is brown. This is making me hungry. It's a crunchy red apple. I think this is my favorite so far. It looks like our yellow friends need some fruit. Yes, yes, I want to make the next shape. Just look at this orange cutter, it's so bright. Oh, I know what this fruit is. It's an orange. Now we need Play-Doh. Can you guess what color this is? Hmm. Shout out if you know. Of course it's orange. 
It's the perfect color. I'll use my rolling pin to flatten it. It needs to be the same thickness all over. Now I'll grab my orange cutter. I'll use this section first. This piece will add the detail. It fits right here. Let's get rid of the extra Play-Doh. Now we can look at our fruit. I'll remove the cutter. Whoa, it's better than I imagined. It's an orange slice. Great job. Ready to choose a fruit? Yes, let me take this pink cutter. Wow, this looks interesting. It's a cherry. I'll put the cutter on the table. What colors are cherries? I'll need help with this, friends. Cherries are red. Wow. We have two pieces of red Play-Doh. I'll join them together. Yahoo! It's a red ball. It's time for the rolling pin. It's a small flat circle. I'll push the cherry cutter into it. I think this fruit will look amazing. I'll carefully remove the cutter. I don't want to break it. It's two red cherries. Cherries have long stems. So I'll make them using brown Play-Doh. I can stick these to the cherries. But there's one more thing. We need a green leaf. Just like this one. I'll put it right here. Let's show everyone what we've made together. A red cherry. Oh, he looks happy. Hey friends, there's only one cutter left. <laughs> it's a purple one. A bunch of grapes. Oh, what's this? This Play-Doh is purple. I'll squash it. Let's try out the grape cutter. I'll push it all the way in. We don't need all this Play-Doh. I can lift this off. I think the Play-Doh is stuck. I'll give it a push. Wow, it's grapes. Let's remove these two leaves. I have a plan. We can make new leaves. I'll use green Play-Doh. I'll flatten it with the rolling pin. Hmm, I need to roll it even more. This is hard work. Then I'll take the grape cutter. I'll use this to make the leaves. That's more like it. Let's put them onto our grapes. This might be my favorite color yet. It's so bright. We made grapes! There's so many! That was our last fruit! I really enjoyed our playtime today. Thanks for your help! And we've learnt many yummy fruits. What was your favorite? Shout it out nice and loud! We'll see you next time! Bye, everyone! Hello, friends. Today, we'll be learning all about numbers and colors. Let's start with this tub and the number one. Do you know what color it is? That's right, it's pink. Let's open it. It's going to be so much fun. Ooh, it's so soft and squishy. Let's flatten it. That's much better. This is the number one. We'll press it into the Play-Doh. Now, I can remove the extra Play-Doh. Look at this, friends. It's a pink number one. One. One pink squishy octopus. The next color is green. Can you think of anything that's green? Grass, leaves, and frogs. Well done. Wow. You know a lot of green things. I'm impressed. My favorite is the frog. Let's roll the green Play-Doh out. It's like making a pizza. I've never had a green pizza before. Next, we'll press the number two into it. Then peel off the Play-Doh. 
This feels so funny. Now we have a green number two. Let's take it out of the mold. The number two. Look, one ball, two balls. Let's open more Play-Doh. It's yellow and the number three. I like this color. It's so bright. Let's press this Play-Doh. Phew, that was hard work. Let's think of something yellow that you can eat. A banana, right. Next, we have the number three. I'll press it into the Play-Doh. That should do it. Then we'll remove the extra Play-Doh. Wow, look at this. Oops, it's falling out. The number three. I've got one egg, two eggs, three eggs. Wow. This color is called purple. This is the fourth tub of Play-Doh. Come on, we'll open it. It's such a nice color. I thought of something purple. It's a fruit. Can you guess? You got it. It was a grape. The Play-Doh is nice and flat. We can press the shape into it. This will help us make our next number. Do you know what it is? Let's find out. Well done. It's the number four. Let's count these balls. One ball, two balls, three balls, four balls. Wow. We still have more Play-Doh to open. Let's try this one. It's blue. I think blue is my favorite color. Hmm, what's blue? The sky, the sea, yes. Wow, that was great. We'll need to roll this Play-Doh out. We can use my super roller. Let's press the shape into it. I don't want to make any mistakes. I'll be careful peeling the extra Play-Doh. We've got another number, friends. Shout it out loud. Whoa, that was really loud. It's the number five. I have five carrots that are ready to be planted. Can you help me? One orange carrot. Two orange carrots. Three orange carrots. Four orange carrots. Five orange carrots. Look, it's purple again. Can you say purple? Purple, that was great. Let's make a purple circle. Then we can flatten it out. Hmm, I'll need my roller. This helps it get really thin. I'll flip it over and roll it again. It's like a purple pancake. We've got the next number right here. Let's push it into the Play-Doh. That's perfect. We can play with this extra Play-Doh later. Here it is, friends. The number six. Say it out loud. Well done. Six. One bucket. Two buckets. Three buckets. Four buckets. Five buckets. Six buckets. They're so colorful. Whoa, where did this come from? Hmm. It's number seven. And this color is turquoise. Can you say turquoise? It's a hard word, but you did great. I'm proud of you. Now we can roll the turquoise Play-Doh out. It's ready for the next number. I'll push it into the Play-Doh now. It will give us a turquoise number. Do you know what number it is? Great job, friends. It's number seven. Wow, we've got seven buzzing bees. Let's put them into the hive. One bee, two bees, buzz, buzz. Three bees, four bees, 
five Bs, six Bs, seven Bs. This color is yellow. A yellow ball of Play-Doh. Let's put the shape into it. I'll push it into the middle. Then we can remove this part. Yay! We've got our next number. The number eight. There are eight tasty popsicles. One tasty popsicle. Two tasty popsicles. Three tasty popsicles. Four tasty popsicles. Five tasty popsicles. Six tasty popsicles. Seven tasty popsicles. Eight tasty popsicles. This Play-Doh is pink. Let's take it out of the tub. I'll press and squash it. Hmm, let's use the roller. Can you think of an animal that's pink? A pig, yes, that's right. Oink, oink. Let's press the shape into the Play-Doh. I wonder what number it'll be. Do you know? You got it, it's the number nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine cute animals. This color is blue. Let's open the blue Play-Doh. We need to flatten it. Then we can press the shapes into it. This number has two shapes. It's the number 10. One frog. Two frogs. Three frogs. Four frogs. Five frogs. Six frogs. Seven frogs. Eight frogs. Nine frogs. Ten frogs. The colors are like a rainbow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, friends. I'll see you next time. Hi, friends. Join me in a color game with Cookie Monster. Hurrah! Hi there, me want a cookie. All right, Cookie Monster, we'll make you a cookie with Play-Doh. Which color cookie did he show us that he wants? Yellow, that's right. Roll it out and splat. Hmm, which color do we need for the chocolate drops? Brown is the color of chocolate and cookies, isn't it? We need to pull off small balls of dough and flatten them onto the cookie. It's ready. Do you think Cookie Monster will like it? Here's your yellow cookie with brown chalky drops, Cookie Monster. Mmm, hurry up, I need cookies. Here you go. Nom, 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 Hurrah, nom, he likes nom, it. Nom, nom, nom. Yummy in my tummy. I want another one, please. Which color dough do we need, friends? Shout out the right color dough that we need to make Cookie Monster his next cookie. Green, yes, that's the color cookie he wants. Squish it, squash it, squinch it to make the cookie biscuit. Where's my chucky drops? We'll make them from the brown dough, won't we kids? Do we need a lot of brown or a little? Little pieces, that's right, let's stick them on. Is it ready? It's done, Cookie Monster. You're so hungry for cookies, aren't you? Open wide. Not my fingers, though, Cookie Monster. <laughs> we'll put these doughs down, because I think he'll want another in a different color next. Keep watching, friends. Good idea. I always want more cookies. I want this color next, please. This is the tub with the color we need. What color is it, friends? Red, you've got it. Splat, now it's the right shape. Tell me, friends, what color do we need for the chocolate bits that we stick on the cookie? Brown, hurrah! Pull off pieces, roll them flat, and pop them on top. It's done! Are you ready, Cookie Monster? 
I'm always ready for cookies. This one looks like a ladybug cookie, doesn't it? I love ladybug cookies, yummy. Wow, he's a fast eater, isn't he? They're just so scrummy. Can I have this color next? Okay, friends, look at the dough lid. What do we call this color? Orange, the same as the fruit, but this time the color. Burkle Durkle, make me a circle. <laughs> what do we do next? Can you remember? This is the tub we need. What color dough is inside? Hurrah, brown. Now we can crop the drops. <laughs> Cookie Monster likes lots of chocolate in his cookies. Do you too? Wow, this one's jam-packed with chocolate, isn't it? Yum, yum, fill my tum. Get ready to see which color he wants next. This tub matches. Check out the lid. And can you tell me what the color is called? Purple! That's the color cookie we're gonna make. Are you ready? Kaboom! And it's done! Not yet. We need brown for the toppings first. Roll them up and drop them on top. Now it's ready, Cookie Monster. Open up. Here it comes. Last bit. Have you made it already? Yes. Tell me, friends, what color do we need? Which is the same as Cookie Monster. Have I got the right tub? What color is it? Let's open up to find out. Blue, that's right. That's what color Cookie Monster is, isn't it? Flatten the dough and shape it into a cookie circle. Give it a roll to smooth down the edges. Pit it and pat it till it takes on the right shape. Brown for the topping and we're almost done. Chunky chocolate chippings for everyone. Mmm, <laughs> delish. Now I'd like a cookie the same color as me. And it's ready. Hurrah. Bring it to show me. Mmm, super. Shove it in. I've got to make sure he doesn't eat my fingers, too. <laughs> I won't. Your fingers aren't cookies. <laughs> On our next game, we've got to match and find the right shaped cookies. Square is the cookie Cookie Monster wants. Count the chalky drops with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here's your square cookie, Cookie Monster. This one matches the heart shape. Let's count the drops. One, two, three, four. Give me the heart shape cookie, please. What's our next shape to match? Circle, here it is. How many chalky drops are on it? One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. Open up for the circle cookie. What shape is next? Triangle, that's right. It has three sides, am I right? Yes, let's count the drops. One, two, three. It has the same amount of sides as the chalky drops, doesn't it? What's this shape called? Oval, and it looks like an egg, doesn't it? One, two. Are you ready for your cookie? Always. <laughs> What's our next shape? Rectangle, hurrah! Get ready to count. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yum, six drops on the rectangle cookie. Oh, what's our last shape called? It's a rhombus and looks like a diamond, doesn't it? One. My last cookie only has one chalky drop. Hmm. Do you want it? Hmm, yes. Nom, 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 nom. No. He's eaten too many cookies today, so now we'll only give him healthy food. Is tomato healthy? Yes, he can eat the tomato. What's this? Pineapple. Can Cookie Monster have the pineapple? Yes, it's a healthy fruit. What about the burger? Is this healthy food? No, it's a junk food, isn't it? 
burgers are bad for our body. What about the soda? Do you think soda is a healthy drink? No, it's full of sugar and bad for us, isn't it? You're not having that, Cookie Monster. Only good healthy food and drinks for you. Okay. Grapes, they're juicy and fruity and healthy too. These you can eat. Is lollipop a good healthy treat? No, it's candy and it's bad for our teeth and body. Cucumber, hmm, is this good for us? Oh yes, fruit and veggies make us grow big and strong. Potato chips, what do you think, friends? That's right, they're not good for us. Apple, they can be red, green, or yellow. Delicious and healthy too. Here you are, Cookie Monster. Pepper, do you think a pepper is healthy? Yes, it is, perfect. Pucker up for the pepper. <laughs> banana, the fruit in a banana is super healthy. Just right for Cookie Monster. Ice cream, tell me friends, do you think ice cream is healthy? No, it has too much sugar and that's unhealthy, isn't it? Sandwich, good or bad? This sandwich is on white bread, which isn't good for our body. Carrot next, can Cookie Monster eat the carrot? Yes, it's a veggie and gives lots of good things to our body. Here is our last food. What do you think, kids? Yes, it's a healthy fruit, isn't it? What did we learn today? We practice our colors, numbers, shapes, and food. And that you like cookies. Bye, friends. See you soon. Bye, cookie friends. Hi, friends. Let's play the Play-Doh alphabet game. The first letter is A. Let's get ready to make and play. Flatten the dough and roll away. Press it in and push it down. Wow, look at our letter. What letter is it? A is for alligator. Ah, uh, ah, uh, alligator. Which letter comes next? Yes, we need B. The dough is ready to be rolled into shape. Push in the cutter. Peel away the extra dough, and what letter do we have? B is for bear. B, B, bear. Is this our next letter? Thanks, friends. It's this letter, isn't it? Roll the dough, and here we go. <laughs> in the cutter goes. Tip, tap, top, and out it pops. C is for crab. C, C, crab. C is done in dough. Which one is next? Thanks, friends. Let's get rolling. What color is this dough? Orange, that's right, way to go. Dib, dab, dob, what a great job. <laughs> D is for dragon, d, d, dragon. Now it's in place, which letter now? Yay! Squish and squash it down flat. Roll up and roll down. Wow, do you know what this letter is called? E is for elephant, eh, eh, elephant. Now let's press out this letter. Hmm, what color dough is this? You've got it, we're using green. Press it down hard and give it a wiggle. What letter do we have? F is for fox, f, f, fox. Hurrah, we finished one line. Let's start on the next line of letters. Ready? Flatten and roll until it fits. Just right. Here we go. Push. What letter is this? G is for giraffe. J, J, giraffe. G goes here. Let's grab the next one to do. Here we go. Get ready to roll, roll, roll the dough. Ready for the letter shape cutter. Which letter can you see? 
H is for hedgehog. Huh, huh, hedgehog. H is in place. Get ready for the next letter. This letter is yellow. What color is the dough? Good job! Pink. Okay, let's pat out the pink dough. This letter looks like a line, doesn't it? What do we call this letter? I is for iguana. Eh, eh, iguana. I is in the right place. Let's get to the next one. Press out the Play-Doh. And we're ready to give it a roll. Can you guess which letter this one is? J is a jaguar. J, J, jaguar. Jaguar jumps in the jungle. <laughs> now for this blue letter. What do we do next, friends? That's right. Let's make our dough filled letter. If you know what this letter is called, shout it out. K is for koala. K, K, koala. Can you think of another animal that begins with K? Kangaroo. Did you think of a different one? Lift up the letter and push it in the dough. Wow, what's this letter? L is for lion. L, L, lion. Look, we finished two lines of letters. Hurrah! This one's a big letter, isn't it? We need to roll it big and wide for this cutter. Hurrah, it fits! Press it down all over. What letter can you see? M is for monkey. M, M, monkey. Can you think of other words that begin with letter M? Good job. You know lots of different words, don't you? Ready to roll? Nice and neat it goes. Peel away the extra. What do we have? N is for Newt. N, N, Newt. Nice Newt knew its ABC. <laughs> Do you know your ABC? Hurrah! This letter looks like a circle, doesn't it? Now we've pressed it down, let's use the roller. Put it right in the middle and heave ho! Hmm, which letter do you think looks like a circle? O is for octopus. Ah, uh, ah, uh, octopus. On your marks, set, go for our next letter. <laughs> Place it on the table whilst we stretch and spread the dough. Is it big enough? Yes, we did great. Lift up the cutter and what do you see? P is for panda. P, P, panda. Pandas are big and cute, aren't they? P stays right there, and we can make the next letter. This letter looks like O, but it's a little different. It has a line at the bottom, doesn't it? If you know the name of this letter, shout it out for me. Q is for quail. Qu, qu, quail. Isn't quail a cute bird? Quick, we've got to get the next letter started. Rub the dough down. Then get rolling! Hurrah! Push down the cutter and wibble wobble it a little. Okay, friends, tell me which letter this is. R is for raccoon. R r raccoon. Run over to your place, R, because we've got another letter to do. Wow, we're on the last line of letters now. This letter looks like a slippery snake sliding along. <laughs> Squish it and squash it into the dough. Come on, my clever friends. What letter is this? S is for snake. S, S, snake. Slide into place, letter S. This is our next letter to make. It has two lines, one in the middle and one over the top. Hmm, which letter could it be? T is for tiger. T, T, tiger. You're doing great with your ABCs. So let's move on to our next cutter. What color is this letter? Yellow, that's right. Wow, you really are quick and clever. Press down all the edges so that our letter looks great. What is it? U is for unicorn. U, U, unicorn. 
Unicorns are like horses, but have a horn on their head. Let's get rolling! Hurrah! Press in the cutter and hold it down. We have liftoff! <laughs> what letter have we made this time? V is for vulture. V, V, vulture. Vroom, vroom to your place, letter V. Oh, this letter looks like two V's together, doesn't it? Get ready to poke and push the dough. Nice and flat, so let's give it a roll. Lots of pressing down for this big letter. Jiggle it a little, and then pull it off. Wow, tell me, which letter is this? W is for whale. W -w whale Whales are the biggest animals in the sea. Wowzer! Oh, look at our next letter. It looks like two lines crossing each other. Shape out the dough, and we're ready to pop it in. Down it goes. Then up it comes. Shout out this letter, friends. X is for x-ray fish. X, X, x-ray fish. X marks the spot for this letter. Hurrah! Here's our next one to do. Squeeze it and flatten it so it's ready to be rolled. Push it in the dough real hard. Do you know what this letter is called? Y is for yak. Y, y, yak. You stay there, Y. We've only one more left to do. Hurrah! Come on, friends. Only one more left to shape and roll. Which color dough is this? Purple! Hurrah! Good work! This letter is the last letter of the alphabet. Do you know its name? Z is for zebra! Z, Z, zebra! Hurrah! Awesome help today, friends! Now, can you shout out the alphabet with me? Yes! Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Hurrah! Now you know your ABCs. Bye! Look, JJ, a planet puzzle game. Yay! Hooray! There are eight planets that all spin around the sun called the solar system. Wow, what are their names? Let me tell you! Listen up! Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Would you like to learn about the eight planets today, JJ? Oh, yes, please! But look, Tom Tom, the first planet, Mercury, has disappeared! <gasps> What's happening? Where are they going? We need to find them. It's okay, kids. We're gonna play a game called Find the Planets. On our own? Mm -hmm. No, Tom Tom. Our friends will help, won't you? Oh, yes. Let's find them together. Hooray! Help me put the colors in the matching cups to find a planet. Are you ready? Yeah! Let's go! Red! Green. Pink. Blue. Yellow. Brown. Wow, what's happening? We need to look in the brown cup, don't we? Look, Tom Tom, we found planet Mercury. We can put our first planet in place. At night, Mercury is very cold, but in the daytime, it's very hot. It's the smallest and fastest planet in the solar system. The volcano has erupted. We need to be quick with this game. Oh no, it's shaking. Do you think it's gonna erupt again? Oh, look friends, a big ball of lava. Could something be inside? Stretchy, slippery slime! <laughs> JJ, I can feel something! What is it? Is it a planet? <gasps> yes, JJ, it's Venus. Let's go put it on the puzzle board. Tell me about Venus. OK, 
Okay, JJ. Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system. It has lots of volcanoes and very big mountains. Oh, interesting. I think we should squeeze the balls to see if there's a planet inside. Yellow first. No, nothing in yellow. Try green next. Nope, nothing here. Pink next. Wow, with yellow inside. No planet in pink. Let's hope there's one in blue. Look, it's got green inside. It's blue and green. Tom Tom, it's Earth. Yes, the ball is the same color as Earth, blue and green. Tell us about our planet Earth. Earth is our home. And the home to all the animals and plants, too. It isn't too hot and it isn't too cold. We've got another game to play. But what are these pieces? Hmm. Oh, it's a jigsaw. We've got to put the rocket back together again. Will you help me do it? That goes at the bottom. Well, what about this one? At the top. This one? Hmm, try next to the bottom one. Hooray, only one more to fit in. Yeah, we did it! Oh, what is it? It's planet Mars, JJ. We sometimes call it the red planet. Why do we call it the red planet? Because it's colored red from all the rust in the soil and rocks. Mars is a very cold and dry planet. The Play-Doh balls look like planets, don't they? Let's pull them open. Pink one first. Not that one, let's try red. Nope. Green! No, okay, what about, hmm. Orange. Press your finger in. It's not in orange, Tom Tom. Yellow. Let's try yellow next. Okay, we'll pull the last ball apart. Blue. Maybe it's inside blue. Oh, Tom Tom, there's something hard inside. I can see something. Quick. Which planet is it? Wait. Let me take the dough from it and we can check. It's Jupiter. Wow, it looks like a big planet, doesn't it? Do you want to know about Jupiter? Yes, we do. Jupiter is made of gas and is the largest planet in the solar system. Storms on Jupiter last for many years. We need to check inside the three bowls to see if there's a planet hiding in one. I'll sit here whilst you hunt through them. Could it be in the green one? No, JJ, only small green balls in here. Whoa, careful, they'll fall on me. Let's move the green and blue bowls away and check the yellow one. JJ, there's something hard in here. Hooray, which planet? It's Saturn. Wow, Saturn has rings around it, so cool. That's right, JJ, and the rings are made of ice and rocks that spin around the planet. Saturn is another icy cold planet too and also a gas planet. I don't like cold. Talking about icy cold, let's check out what's inside the fridge. Maybe there's a cold planet inside. Open sesame. <laughs> Watch out, Tom Tom, it's an ice avalanche. Look, a planet. Yes, it's Uranus. Pop it in its place and tell us about Uranus. Okay, here it goes. Uranus is very cold and very windy, and it looks like it spins on one side. This planet is made from ice and called an ice giant because it's so big. Wow, this magic sand looks like a big purple hill, doesn't it? Wow. Let's squeeze and pull it to see if there's anything inside. Wow, now it looks like a purple waterfall. Can you see a planet hiding in there? Tom, Tom, I found it, look. Uh, what color is it? It's blue. 
This is the last planet in the solar system. I can't remember its name. Do you know what it's called? The last planet is Neptune. That's the same name as the king of the sea, Neptune. Yes, it is, Tom Tom, because Neptune looks like water. Neptune is a cold ice giant, and it doesn't have any seasons like we do. It's freezing cold all the time. Look, JJ. With help from our friends, we found all the missing planets. Yay! Come on, let's count them. One. Mercury is number one. Two. Venus is number two. Three. Earth is number three. Four. Mars is number four. Five. Jupiter is number five. Six. Saturn is number six. Seven. Uranus is number seven. Eight. Neptune is number eight. Now I know that there are eight planets in the solar system that spin around the sun. Well done, JJ. That's right. Let's say their names one more time so that you remember them, okay? Let's go. Mercury, the smallest and fastest planet. Venus, the hottest planet with lots of volcanoes. Our home Earth, which we share with plants and animals. Mars, the red, cold, and dry planet. Jupiter, the largest gas planet in the solar system. Saturn, with the rings that spin of ice and rocks. Uranus, the cold and windy planet that spins on its side. Neptune, it has wind and storms and icy cold. We've learned lots about planets today, haven't we? Yes, now I want to be an astronaut. Bye-bye. Let's roll down the dough first. They're sliding so fast, aren't they? And who do we have here? Wow. It's a colorful number block, isn't it? Can you help me make number block number seven? Yeah! Hmm, which color do we need first to match? Red, hurrah! But this Play-Doh is in a circle, and number block is made of cubes, which look like boxes, don't they? We can't use the rolling pin. What will we use to make a cube shape? Aha! This shape tool will help to press in the edges to make the right shape. Hurrah! We did it! It's a cube! Our red cube is ready. All six sides are the same. Orange is next. A cube is a solid shape that we call 3D, and we can roll, slide, or put them on top of each other. So let's change this rolling ball of dough into an orange cube. Because it's now a cube, we can put it on top of the red cube. Yellow is our next color. Let's go. We can press it in to make the edges all the same. Let's try together. Push in each side and make it smooth. Cool, we did it! Yay! Now we can carefully stack it on top of orange and red. Turquoise is the color we need now. Can you think of other things that are shaped like a cube? A dice that we roll in a game is a cube. Building blocks like number block are cubes too. Turquoise is ready to stack on top. We'd better be careful though, it's getting high, and we don't want it to tumble, do we? Blue is the color next. Here it rolls. It won't roll soon though, because when we change the shape to a cube, it will have flat sides, won't it? Onto the stack it goes, hurrah! Now let's shape dark blue. Press in the sides nice and flat. Use the shape tool to smooth the dough. Pat, pat, pat the six sides down. Oh, I'm scared in my tumble. Wish me luck. Wow. It's gonna be a tall tower of cubes. Purple is our last cube to shape. Press and mold smooth and flat. Okay, 
it shaped and ready to put on top as the last piece. Oh no, it's too high. Do you think it will stay on top or tumble down? Hurrah, it's on. Yikes, it's a tumbling tower. Oh dear. How are we gonna fix it to look like number block? Look, we've got some sticks to hold them together. Let's try it out. Can you shout out the colors with me? Yes. Red is the first one. Now shout out the colors as quick as you can. Orange, yellow, turquoise, blue, dark blue. Purple is the last one, but we need to match with number block's face, don't we? Two eyes and a mouth. Color hair too. <laughs> wow, so cool. This time we'll make sure he doesn't fall by pushing a stick in to hold him up. There we go. He looks like a <laughs> lollipop, doesn't he? <laughs> Into the block body he goes. Hurrah! Lastly, we need to put his number on top. Seven, because he has seven cubes. Hurrah! Thank you, friends, for helping today. I had lots of fun. Let's say goodbye to number block seven. We'll see him again soon. Bye!